What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE action figure news for you guys. Specifically, some WWE Elite Series 75 news for you. We have unveiled what the Elite 75 Jeff Hardy will more than likely look like, and we can pretty much confirm it. I, I know that, you know, we don't know exactly what it's going to look like, but we have a really, really good idea based off some information that we have collected from Showcase Collector on Instagram. He always delivers us with excellent news. He has, you know, broke a bunch of news before in his in his life in on his page. We've we've covered it here on the on the channel before. We've showed it off. It is showcase underscore collector on Instagram, guys. He posted up this image here. It says sneak peek at an upcoming elite Jeff Hardy. You can see there the images of Jeff in the background. You got the shirt. Um, it says showcase collector, obviously in the Mattel like logo. And in the caption, he does say elite seventy five Jeff Hardy. Hardy looks to be his 2002 look. Please keep in mind that the shirt deco is subject to change. Now, he, on his page, he has actually called these things before. He said that the WWE Flex Force will be coming back. He called that we will be getting a new Elite Ricochet, which we are getting one in the in the Series 2 of the Network Spotlight Target Exclusives that would come with the U.S. title and the red t-shirt. He did get the attire wrong, but it was a new Ricochet that we, 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 that we would be getting. He also called that we would get an ECW Bobby Lashley, which we did in the new Royal Rumble line. And he also called a Macho King figure in the exact attire that he, you know, called on Nove in, in November. He said this, so uh, he's, you know, he's. You can confirm it. He's done it with Diesel and Rey Mysterio before as well. And so we are going to be getting a 2002 Jeff Hardy, which is going to be beautiful. I cannot wait for this. There's so many different looks that he could go with. You know, he did post up these three images. You have the glow in the dark. You have, you know, the blue, and then you have the one in the back right corner. And all of these are great. All of them are terrific. I'll also pull up some other images of some other Jeff Hardys. You know, what this era of Jeff Hardy looked like. And I love this era of Jeff Hardy. You know, it was singles. If you guys remember the game, Shut Your Mouth for the PlayStation 2, that is about what I would figure he would look like. You know, the shorter hair, probably a removable headband. Not sure if it'll be removable, but it's just something that, you know, I would consider for the figure be a cool accessory. Obviously, it's going to come with a removable t-shirt, and it looks like it's going to be this shirt that he was wearing around that time, but he said that is subject to change, which means we could get plenty of other t-shirts from that time period. And I'm going to bring up some customs on the screen so you guys can kind of have an idea of probably what the figure will look like at least to a degree, and I'm going to bring those up on the screen. You guys can see these two different custom figures, and what these are are actually made by uh, Crowned Jesus. My boy Jesus made the one on the left, and then the one on the right is actually made by Kemp Hog underscore 93 underscore custom, and both of these look great. This is probably similar to what the head and body will probably look like. I'm not sure if it's confirmed if it's going to have the white pants or anything like that. I think that's a toss-up. It could be the regular Jeff Hardy black pants or it could be these white zebra print pants, which I love. I need to have me a damn pair of these. These are freaking beautiful, but um, it does look like this is going to be the Jeff Hardy that we get, um, or it's something similar, as you guys can see on the photo on the screen. That's about what I'm thinking it's going to look like. This is from November 2002 when they were on a live event tour overseas, and it looks really good. I, I like this attire a lot. You can see there with the white pants and everything, and that's about what I'm figuring the figure will look like. Again, it's just like a, a toss-up up. It could be, you know, a bunch of different things. Like, there, it, he, he varied his attire so many times around this point where it could be, you know, there, there's so many little changes they could make, you know, sleeves and body paint on the arm and stuff like that, that it could be, even the face paint. I'm, I'm more than likely sure that it's going to be the half face face paint that we see here in the image of the 2002 Jeff Hardy, so I can pretty much confirm that, but Showcase Collector has been confirming these things for a long time now, so he is a very credible source, and uh, I am going to go ahead and just mark this down. I'm going to stamp it and approve it, and I think this is going to be Elite 75 Jeff Hardy. I'm freaking pumped for it. I can't wait. I can't wait to get a bunch of them for different you know, face paints, um, for different attires and fix-ups and plenty of other things. This is why I love the Jeff Hardy figures is because you can do so many different fix-ups 
pickups. Uh, you guys know by the Jeff Hardy collection I have to my left over here with all the different elites and head scans and stuff. It's very fun to flip his figures around, switch parts and stuff like that so that we get all the cool attires and, you know, fantasy customs and things for the pick fed. So that is what I'm most excited for. And I can't wait to put the 2002 Jeff Hardy up on the shelf. But now that we have our Elite 75 Jeff Hardy, this means that we know what all of Elite 75 is pretty much going to look like. Again, we don't know exactly what Jeff Hardy will look like, but we more than likely do. We know at least what the, you know, the era is going to be and all of that good jazz again. You know, now looking at the images, I feel like this image right here is probably going to be the most accurate to the photo that Showcase Collector posted. Obviously, you know, it's subject to change. It could change. It could be none of these. It could be something off the wall or from a different studio shot or something. But if I had to put my money on one image or one of these images that I think it's probably going to be, it'd probably be this one right here. I think this was probably the most accurate just because it's the front and center one on the image that Showcase Collector posted. And he's been very correct many times in the past, like I've said, guys. So this is something something that you definitely should take seriously. It is going to for sure be a 2002 Hardy. Some of it is subject to change. The t-shirt, the face paint, the arm paint, maybe the pants color, but we know that it'll be a short-haired Jeff Hardy, more than likely with a headband, and it's going to be absolutely beautiful. But the rest of the figures in the wave, I mean, who do we have? We have Mandy Rose, we have the Hurricane, we have Seth Rollins, we have Kalisto, and we have Pete Dunne. All of these figures look absolutely great. I cannot wait to finally get these figures. You know, we really haven't seen any other images besides these prototype images we've seen renders of Seth Rollins and Kalisto we have not seen final products we haven't even seen prototypes of Seth Rollins or Kalisto but I'm sure those will be coming very very soon you know ringside hasn't really released any figures this year obviously it's just the beginning of 2020 but Elite 74 dropped uh, a couple weeks before or two or three weeks before 2019 ended so it's more than likely just a little bit of time before they are going to release Elite Series 75. I think some basics are also coming very, very soon. I'm sure that they're going to be coming soon, man. I, I know it. I can feel it. And hopefully, you know, we haven't seen really anything about Elite 76 or 77 as well, which is kind of odd. I'm sure that we'll find out some more information on those, you know, finalizing what they're going to be and how they're going to come out. Um, usually they don't do that. They will usually have like, you know, at least they'll be caught up two or three series, it seems like. But now, you know, we're only on the one series. We don't know what Seth Rollins, Jeff Hardy, or Kalisto are going to look like as far as prototypes. We only have Hurricane, Pete Dunn, and Mandy Rose, which this whole line is very fantastic. I'm actually very excited for this wave. I'm excited to see exactly what Seth Rollins looks like as a prototype figure. And I'm sure the next images we do get of this whole wave will probably be in their package images or their loose images which uh, I don't think we're supposed to get new packaging. I think the Elite 74 packaging is what we'll get, so nothing new there. But the rest of the figures, Seth Rollins, Kalisto, Hurricane, Pete Dunn, Mandy Rose, and Jeff Hardy will look beautiful, and I'm, I'm excited to see what accessories we get with all of these guys. And another thing I wanted to talk about really quick is in the render image of Seth Rollins, we didn't even get any accessories. I, I highly doubt that we're going to get just Seth Rollins with two pairs of interchangeable hands. There's no way that's going to be the figure. I'm guessing they're going to try try their best to get the vest out. At least, the, you know, I would hope they'd try to get that vest out. So hopefully we get the Chicago Bears vest to go with our 2019 Royal Rumble Seth freaking Rollins figure. That would look absolutely great. And I think that would be enough accessories. If you gave him the vest, you gave him the interchangeable hands, the three pairs of interchangeable hands, that would be pretty good for him. We also don't have any accessories for the Kalisto figure, but I think uh, that pretty much does it for our WWE Elite Series 75. We now know exactly what he's going to look like that Jeff Hardy is going to be a 2002. Oh, oh, there's actually another custom that I wanted to show you guys real quick. There, here's a custom, and I think it's by Fall Superstar on the WWE Action Figure Forums. And this is a figure or a custom elite Jeff Hardy based off of his 2002 match with The Undertaker, which is kind of similar to what we've been talking about, the kind of look that we'd be going for, you know, that singles Jeff Hardy look in 2002. And it's it's just great. I like this figure a lot right here. So shout out to whoever that is, Fall Superstar. I, I That's all the information. I hope that username is correct because I, I really cannot remember exactly exactly what uh what what the thing was i just remember it said fall superstar and i remember thinking you know that that can't be correct brad but anyways guys i'm gonna shut the hell up and get the hell out of here just figured you guys would like to know about this superstar sh this showcase collector little wwe elite series 75 jeff hardy news for you but uh that is gonna do it for today's video guys thank you so very much for watching let me know down in the comment section below if you're hyped for the new elite series 75 jeff hardy you know what attire exactly do you hope it 
is. Do you hope it's the white pants version or the black pants version? You know, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm sure if, you know, we don't get the right t-shirt deco that you like or if we don't get the exact thing that we like, it won't be that hard to make it a little bit more accurate or whatever. Unless it's the pants color, then we're all effing screwed. But I'm going to get the hell out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.